start off thoughts on tonight's win? Uh, I'm really glad that we were able to finish off our stretch at home. I know that um, these past couple day games have been um, you know, tough, but that's how it's going to be. Uh, I'm proud of the way that we finished the game uh, with our free throws. That was a really important part of, you know, they're, they're cutting it, they're making a really big push at us, and we were able to finish the game off, I thought, at the free throw line. Uh, the uncanny part, 17 turnovers for you guys tonight, what do you attribute that to? Man, I was really disappointed in how we handled the ball. I thought overall it was one of our uh, toughest performances as far as just being sloppy and things that I thought we could do a better job controlling ourselves. Uh, that being said, um, <laughs> we finished the game at the free throw line. You know, it was, it was unfortunate and that is not characteristic of us and um, we're going to have to be better. What I did notice was you clamped down really hard on McInerney in the second half. I thought your defense on her throughout the game was very good. Second half was outstanding. We needed to do a better job in in help. Um, I thought she was we she was getting too much stuff over the top in the first half. They were finding her on everything, um, and we were being a little bit soft as far as our help getting in. Um, second half we had to switch some things up and actually decided to switch some things on the perimeter which helped keep our help in um, just to try to take her away. She's such a good dominant player and if you, you know, those kind of players can, they, they win you games and so we had to get her out of it. Uh, we did our best in the second half and you know at least there was por a, a portion there when every time we were turning the ball over we were getting stops which thank goodness we were because I think that's how it's getting the game. You guys started 4-6 from 3, but then shot just 4-16 to close from 3. Mm -hmm. um, just what would you attribute that to, or just a, a product of? Uh, you know, people always tell me that percentages sort of work their way out, so <laughs> I don't know if that's how it was, but I, 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 I did think we had a great start, you know, to the, to the second half, and um, I thought we got into the scene, and they were they overhelped, and we found the right people. Uh, I didn't think we were quite as aggressive getting into seams, getting towards the basket, um, breaking them down after the first five minutes. I just thought, you know, it was two dribbles and then swing when I thought we really could have uh, attacked inside a little bit harder. Um, you guys forced them into, I think it was 19 turnovers, but you guys played well in that aspect defensively. What did you like from you guys as far as, as, far as creating opportunities? I, I liked what we did defensively, especially in the second half. Um, I, I, I do like how gritty and tough we were. And again, when we are turning the basketball over, we have to be able to rely on something and our defense will keep with us. And the logical question for me, Monday. <laughs> yeah, I know, so you get to celebrate these victories so long, but of course it's the rivalry game on Monday. Northern has been playing well. You have been playing well. It should be a great team. I'm really excited for Monday. I think um, the Tech Northern rivalry is at its its peak, um, and I know you feel like that every year. And they're playing really well. I, I hope that we're at the point where we're ready to compete. Um, they're they're big. They're tall. They're long. They make the game at their pace, um, and we are really excited to get down there. And I. I I'm expecting us to be um, hungry, and I know that this is a time in the year where this game is really important for both teams, um, and it's going to be possession for possession, back and forth, and we expect a battle. Well, Morgan, uh, just seemed like today, offensively, you guys didn't have much of a flow of the 17 turnovers. Uh, what would you see out there on the floor today? Um, you know, we were just sloppy with the ball, and it's something that we usually aren't, so it was just kind of... They put a lot of pressure on us, and we didn't do a good job of adjusting to that. So that's definitely something that we're going to look to in the future to improve. Did you call board on that three? <laughs> I no. <laughs> you get to watch that one on the internet because I was playing radio at that point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's it feel like for you guys to wrap up at home and then follow Thursday's big dramatic win here with another win Saturday? Um, I mean. It's huge. The, any game in the GLIAC, um, you need to play close to your best, which we didn't today, but to win. And we know that, and especially the stretch when we have five games in ten days, like every single game is so important. And just to get these two at home to do our job is really important for us. Is it good in a way for you guys to rely on your defense, forcing 20 turnovers like you did tonight when your offense might not be clicking the way you guys want? Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, just like you saw on Thursday's game when our offense isn't there, like we depend so much on our defense to be able to get those stops for us and get that one for us. Okay, Monday. <laughs> it's the Monday question. You play Northern Monday. 
they just lost a close game today. You won a game that, you know, it's a win. Mm -hmm. It wasn't your best game. I mean, Grand Valley, I understand that. It might have been a little bit of a letdown. Now you got to get Jack back up for Monday. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're, we are ready to go for We were extremely excited for this game, too. Um, we need to be for every game. Otherwise, I mean, you saw today, you can lose to anyone. And we are, I mean, it's Northern and Michigan Tech. It's a huge rivalry game, and we are just so excited. But what do you, What's your defensive aspect when it comes to the Wildcats? Um, I guess just making sure that they have some really big posts so we know that we need to be in help and we really want to put some pressure on them, um, get them to turn the ball over a little bit. Elizabeth, six blocks for United Some came off the help weak side. What did you just try to do to position yourselves to put your, to swap those? Um, I think just making sure I was in help side um, and just having my hands up at all times. Um, you know, not trying to swing through, just be big and hopefully get a piece of the ball. Another strong night for you in the post, six of seven, especially against another post like McMurray. Just what was working for you out there tonight? Um, I think my teammates did a really good job um, getting me the ball early and when I had people on my back. And um, I struggled. I turned over the ball a few times today, but my teammates did a really good job of like keep trusting in me. And um, I think that just kind of built my confidence inside.